Morning, everyone. And、uh, today, let's go through one lead code problem. It's pretty recent, twenty seven sixteen. A very simple, straightforward problem. But if you overthink about it, you might get into unnecessary troubles. So think it easily, as it's really labeled as an easy problem. Minimize string length. Let's take a look. Given a zero indexed string, repeatedly perform the following operations any number of times. Choose an index i in the string. Let c be the character in position i. Delete the closest. It says closest. Okay, here is one thing that you need to pay. You need to pay close attention to closest occurrence. It's not adjacent occurrence. Okay, of c to the left of i, if any, and the closest occurrence of c to the right of i, if any. Your task is to minimize the length of s by performing the above operation any number of times. Return an integer denoting the length of the minimized string. There are three given examples. Let's take a look at the first one. A A A B C. The resulting output is three. Why? It could be minimized to just A B C because there's A and A, which could be deleted in this example. Let's see. Let's take a look at S. Its explanation. S is A A A B C. We can start by selecting the character A in at index one. Which is this one, right? At index one, we then remove the closest a to the left of the index one, which is this. We removed this, and then we remove, which is at index zero, and then the closest a to the right of the index, which is at index two. Okay, this one is gone, and this one is gone. The resulting minimized string is then a b c. The length of that is three. Easy to understand. And then example two, c b b d. The resulting、uh, minimized string length, length is also three. That is C B D. So there is a double B, which one of them could be removed. All right. The final example is D D D A A. As you can tell, it can be minimized to D and A. This D, this D can be removed. This, this A and this A can be removed. Right. Okay. So looking at this, do we need a like a sort of advanced data structure such as stack to let us to help us go through this entire string? And whenever we encounter the same character another time, a second time, a third time, we、we'll、just remove that. Is that really necessary? It's not. It's really not necessary because what we are asked to do is to delete the closest occurrence. It doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be adjacent, although in these in all of these three examples, the characters that are being deleted they are all adjacent to the same character, but that's not the definition of this problem, which is asking us to delete the closest. Which, if you think about it in another sense, it's basically asking us to keep only one occurrence of the same character. If we encounter the same character a second time, a third time, a fourth time, or how many number of times, we don't need to keep them. We just need we just remove them, right? If you can think of this problem this way, it becomes a lot easier. We can just keep track of all of the characters that we have encountered so far in the hash set or hash table. Hash set set is、uh, is a more straightforward way. It helps us、uh, keep track of the duplicates. Right, and then we use a string builder to in Java. We use a string builder to loop through all of the characters. We only append a new character, a new that means we have never encountered such a character in the string before into the string builder. Right, in end we'll just return the size of the string builder. I hope that makes sense. It's if you can think of the problem this way, this problem becomes really easy. All right, let's put the idea into actual code. String builder, string builder, and then we want to have a hash set. Type is just character hash set. The purpose of this hash set is to help us keep track of all of the characters that we have encountered so far. Now we'll just go through this、uh, string. We'll see、um, as char at i if set if we can add this 
character into this hash set. That means we have never encountered this character before, which means we can add, we can append this character into this string builder. Otherwise, we'll just ignore it, which means we have encountered this character before. So it's closest, and we will always keep deleting the closest character that we have encountered before, which means we are not going to append it to the string builder. And then in the end, we'll just return the length of this string builder. That's it. Let me hit run. All right, accept it. Now let me hit submit. Accept it too. Um, okay, so this is the entire algorithm we put into code. Um, time complexity of this is just O of n, n is the size of the string. Space complexity is also O of n, just in case there is no duplicate characters. So we need to put every single character into this hash set. So both time and space complexity is O of n, n is the size of the string. Um, a very simple, straightforward problem. If this video helps you understand such a problem, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me any comments, um, suggestions down below. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.